Hello everybody, welcome back to our new vlog. My name is Clara. My name is Oka. Oh really? Something is wrong here. No, my name is Oka. <laughs> my name is Clara. And what are we doing today, Clara? Today we are going to be making a vlog all about student accommodation. Um, so we are going to be giving you tours of our own rooms. This currently is my room. Um, and Okan's going to be showing you around some of his friends' rooms and just... And my room, yes, because it's amazing as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We're going to be basically showing you what it looks like, what your options are, how to decorate it, because it's nice to live in a place that looks nice. Um, but yeah, so we were going to be talking about thrift stores and non-thrift stores and where to go, how to move. Moving is really hard. Um, Do you have a friend with a car? A car or a parent with a car? If not, watch this video because I will tell you what your options are. Um, but yeah, I think that other well, than that... Let's start? Let's get into the video. I'm Ava, I'm a master's student from IBC, and I come from Italy. We know that it's very difficult for students to move from one country to another, especially when they start their university life. Um, was it difficult for you to move from Italy here with luggages, with finding accommodation? Uh, yes, it is quite difficult. So organize yourself <laughs> ahead of time. Tip of the day. Yes. So, um, this is not your first accommodation, but no. can you tell us, was it difficult to find accommodation when you were in Italy and you were looking for places in Nijmegen? Um, It's not very difficult, because if you come from a country far away from the Netherlands, the university will help you. They are quite helpful with international students, so will, they will offer you a room, okay. if possible. The thing is, you, can, you only get offered one room. So if you don't like the room you get offered, you have to look for yourself. And that's when it becomes difficult in that yeah. Because there's a lot of students and not a lot of room. <laughs> that is the problem of every student city, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. But so, at the end of the day, we were all good, we found our accommodation. Exactly. And you, I mean, the rooms offered to me, I liked them, so I just accepted them. And it's, it's been good. All right, yeah. all right, lovely. So you accepted the room offered by SSHN. So uh, what is SSHN? Okay, SSHN is like a housing organization and they have a lot of complexes around Nijmegen. And Quite centrally located as well. Yes, right? and it's a lot of students. And what the university will do often is give you a code and through this code you can select a room of your choosing. So there's different prices, you can go for a cheaper room or more expensive and you can choose the amount of roommates you want. So I would say before, get some information, see what you would like. There's Ossabel, which is lovely, but it's a little bit more outside of the city. Then there's Kvelkevel, which is central, so that's what I chose it. It's close to campus, close to the centre, so you have to look up information before making your choice and the rooms go quite quickly. So this is my room, as you can see. Um, the furniture was already here when I arrived, so that was really nice. I didn't have to go out and buy anything. You are allowed to bring your own furniture, but I was fine with what was here. A very important aspect of moving into a new room is to decorate with personal things. So for example, what I did, I hanged up some of my favorite Polaroids so these are friends, family, and a lot of artwork. So this my friend did, and that's me, as you can see. And this is I bought in Amsterdam, and this is from Italy. And it does change your room and make it more personal and more comfortable for yourself. Okay, so this is my very big wardrobe. And did you get it from the uh, SSHN? Yes, yes, they provide it to you, so it's nice to have some storage. And, I mean, you could always add to it, but I feel like this is enough, for now, it is. And it's a bit messy, so don't judge. Um, I said the same. You only get a few hangers from SSHN, 
So these are the orange ones I got from them. So I would say as soon as you come, go to Ikea or the Hema and get some hangers because they will like give you a lot of space. And how can you go to Ikea? Uh, I think there's a bus or you can also go by train. And also I know ESN, so the International Student Organization, they organize a trip at the beginning of the semester for all international students. To Ikea. Yeah. Wow. And there's a lot of coats. Bring a raincoat. Please bring a raincoat. It will save your life. And yeah, it's just a lot of warm clothes and then stuff up here <laughs> and stuff down there. But yeah, it's, it's enough for me, for my clothes. So that's nice. So Eva, do you share common spaces with other people, other students? Yes, I share my common spaces with six people, or five people, we are six in total. And we share the kitchen and the bathroom. Alright, but you have your own space in your room where you can relax? Yes, if I want some time off, I can always go into my room, which is nice. Alright, shall we go and have a look? Yes, come with me. So I am just jumping in here really quickly to tell you your options for moving as an international student in the Netherlands. Starting from worst to best, um, you can either try to move everything by bike uh, with no form of car available. This is the one that I least recommend, but if you only have suitcases or very small things, then it's technically possible to do this using the public bus system. Um, but if you do have larger furniture, uh, or your place is like very far from a close bus stop, then I would recommend um, the second best option is if you yourself or you know anyone who has a valid European driver's license um, and I think is over 18, then you are able to rent a van in the Netherlands quite easily. Um, and that I think that you need a credit card to do so, I don't know, but the site that you can check this is uh, Europe. Europe van, but there's no E at the end, so it's just Europe van. Uh, so I would check the website there. You can rent a van for a day, and that is definitely the easiest way. It will give you the most time. Um, you don't feel like you're inconveniencing anyone. Um, and obviously the best option is if you have parents close by or um, a friend with a car, then you can just sort of enlist their help for the day, maybe pay them back in some uh, housewarming cookies or something. Um, and yeah, so those are your three options. You can either try to move things by bike or by bus. Um, you can rent a van or you can get someone that you know with a van. All right, so um, we wanted to show you different student accommodations and I thought was best than showing my own student accommodation where I live. Um, so let me give you a small tour of my room. I love this place. Um, this is my ultimate go to relax, watch a movie night. Just get your popcorn, and I usually put my computer here and just relax and watch a movie. Put the blanket on, it's very puffy. If you have a small room like mine and you want to make the best out of your space, definitely make sure that you find a comfortable high bed. You can get a king size bed, queen size bed, or just single bed, it doesn't matter, but it definitely saves a lot of space. It has perks, but it has disadvantages as well. So if you, let's say you get thirsty in the middle of the night, you need water, so you need to go down the stairs, grab your bottle of water, and continue again sleeping. I was a person that I really uh, enjoyed my time at the library. I would go there every day study there, like I would enter the library at 10 o'clock and leave the library at 11 o'clock in the evening. But since I got this place, I really enjoy studying at home, especially this is my small working studying crib where I enjoy um, doing whatever assignments I have to work on and it is really pleasant and enjoyable. And something that I really realized was that it is the reason why you don't enjoy 
your place at home is because um, probably you didn't make it as comfortable as possible for yourself. So the, mo the first moment that you realize that this is important, you will see the difference in yourself as well, that you really enjoy being on your own, being relaxed, not surrounded by people and just concentrating on whatever you need to work. And believe me, when you, came, uh, you, when you come to Radboud University, you will have a lot to study. And by a lot, I mean a lot. And um, you need to make sure that you have a place that you really, really feel comfortable at home and that you can work for hours. Finding an accommodation as a student might be very difficult and it was definitely stressful for me as well. It will be probably stressful for you. The process is tough, but if you start on time, that will save you a lot of stress. So make sure that you start at least four to five months if possible earlier to look for accommodation and that's what I did. I needed accommodation from the 1st of August and I started around April uh, to just look what is the market, where there are available rooms and uh, then made my choice and got this amazing room. All right. Hello everybody, um, so this is just going to be a very quick interlude where I am going to tell you how to spice up your student room um, and just make it a really nice place for you to live. You don't have to go all out like I did, in fact you could just go minimal on the mood lighting and the gold mirrors, but um, when you live here for a year you just sort of accumulate things and sometimes you want to put those things together to make a living space which is nice to live in. Um, so really quickly, the first thing that I would recommend to you is thrift stores. There are a few of them in Nijmegen. Most of them are accessible by bike. And if you buy something that is not transportable by bike, you either should get a friend with a car or make friends uh, with someone who has a car. Or, if that is your last resort, um, I've, also, I've brought a bunch of random stuff on the public bus system. I've brought a microwave on a bus. I've brought a gold mirror on a bus. They really don't care as long as you don't hold them up too much. So that's my uh, confession to you. Um, so yeah, your options there are Het Goed in the city, a little outskirts of the city, and then Habakrats, which is right in the city center. Yeah, if you still want to go the second hand route, then I would recommend uh, Facebook Marketplace or Marktplatz. And those are basically equivalent. One of them is more of the Dutch version, and one of them uh, is more of the Facebook version. But uh, both of them are really great, especially if you know what you're looking for. So yeah, we have thrift stores, we have online marketplaces, and then if you are a you know, you want to buy something new, you want something really specific, then you can either go to one of the retail stores in town, there are a ton of them, definitely go explore the city center, or there's also Ikea Dalvin, which is um, the closest Ikea to here in Nijmegen. Those are my recommendations for decorating. Um, also, there's like plant stores in the city center. There are beautiful things. You can also just go pick wild flowers and put them in an empty wine bottle if that's what your decorating sense is. Um, but yes, uh, hopefully this gave you some helpful information and let's continue on with the rest of the video. All right, so next up, I just arrived to my friend Yulia's place. So um, she's gonna tell us how she found her accommodation and she's gonna give you tips on what is the easiest way to move from another country. Let's knock on the door. Hi, Yulia. Thank you. Yulia, tell us, um, was it difficult for you to move to a new country when you came to the Netherlands? How, how did you perceive that change? Well, um, it was hard at the beginning. Um, but I was sort of prepared, like, you know, mentally, let's say, because I know moving involves a lot of uh, time and patience, to be honest. And I think the most difficult thing for me was to actually find a place, because it's if you're not in Nijmegen when you're looking for an accommodation, it's really hard to, like, um, find something. Yeah. So, yeah, I think that was the, um, the most difficult part for me. The best perk and the biggest tip that we actually can give the prospective students is that 
if possible, come to the Netherlands, and if not possible, take advantage from the university's accommodation possibilities, which saves you a lot of struggles as well. Exactly. Yeah, I totally agree. You were living at a university accommodation last year, but now you found your place uh, uh, yourself. I yeah, I did. And it's a very beautiful place as well. Thank you. And um, it's through a friend of yours, right? Yes, yes. Can you tell us about that? Yeah, so <clears throat> um, I met this other Romanian guy at a party and he told me he was actually finishing his master's degree this summer. And I asked him, like, could I have could I take a look at your place and maybe you could like recommend me to be the next tenant and uh, we did that and it actually worked out and I'm really glad that I finally managed to find a place of my own that I can actually call home call home and um, yeah all right so again take home message is create connections and um, how much do you pay for your place I actually pay 520 euros which yeah it's a lot, but then again, I'm like three minutes away from the city center, so that's a good perk. One minute away from the central station. Exactly, that's a really important factor. Of course, so. especially if you want to discover the Netherlands. Exactly. That's the biggest perk, I think. Yeah, yeah. And how far is the university? I think it takes me around 15 minutes to get to uni by bike if I'm lazy, let's say. But if I brush, it's usually like 10 minutes. All right, we hope you enjoyed the video. It was useful for you because we know what it is like to be an international student overseas and how difficult it might be for uh, finding an accommodation. Yes, and we will leave you with this beautiful view of St. Anne's Yeah. Uh, see you in our next video. Bye. Bye. By the way, we forgot. Comment down below, like the video, and don't forget to subscribe.